Привет, как дела? Welcome to an end of season episode of um, Vulcan with me, Andy. Um, we are on the main home screen, and I would like to draw your attention to the league table. One game left. Guess who we're playing? Yes, it's bloody Nog Leaky again. It's exactly the same as last year. I can't believe exactly the same. We've got to win, otherwise, another season gone. Um, I think we left you with a nil-nil, didn't we? And I can't remember where it is. It was like a... No, it wasn't a nil-nil. What am I talking about, retard? It was a spectre. I think it was like that one, wasn't it? The two-nil. So we had a... Or it might have been that one. Just, just play each team six times, so I just can't remember. I think it's that one. So, yeah, November was toss, wasn't it? Look at it. Three all. Two three all, so we were scoring, but we um, completely forgot how to defend, and I lost to Nogliki. And then we came back in in March after, yeah, four months off, which is not so bad if your players are all on non contract. You don't spend any money, which is good. Um, so yeah, we beat Spectre, uh, had a week off. Can't beat Nogliki to save our lives. That's one, two, three. So we've lost the last three against Nogliki. So we won the first two, lost the last three. So it makes sense we win this one, doesn't it? That'd be lovely. Um, but yeah, lost to Nogliki. But then, next three games, not including friendlies, obviously, um, two draws and a win. And we beat Scar, but we didn't beat Spectre in the last game and we were absolute horse. Um, if we have a look at our squad for ability, there is a new player. His name is Alan Sokolov, and he was the youth intake, pretty much. Um, yeah, exceptionally decent mentors for a 16-year-old. Doesn't have any flair or off the ball, which is a bit of a, a bugger. Off the ball, definitely, is a bit of a bugger. But, yeah, okay positioning, work rate's got to be worked on. Physicals are, yeah, yeah a top for a 16-year-old. Um, he needs to get a little bit stronger, and he's not, where was he, 5'9", something like that, 5'8", five, 5'9". And exceptionally light for a defensive midfielder. Makes me wonder what he actually wants to do. He, what he could play defender or midfield, but I don't know. I, I think he's going to have to be a playmaker because he's not going to be big enough to be an anchor man or anything like that. Um, yeah, thirteen heading though, and eight jumping reach for five foot nine. No, he's a bit of a mishmash of a person. Um, that said, yeah, he was our youth intake uh, at. If we have a quick look at the profile, three and a half stars current. So yeah, proper good. Um, we had two other one star players and both of them that got nicked. Um, if we go to the, because obviously remember we are on contract, so it's really easy to nick people. We go to our transfer history and they're not gonna sh Oh yeah, right, this, this bloody club. Now, I don't know how that would be pronounced. Obviously, Kimki, but I have to learn the Russian Cyrillic letters <laughs> to, to do that one. Something happened to them. Something massive happened to them. If we go to their transfer history, what the actual... Look at this, 2021. Something crazy has happened. They've like lost all their players or something. Nobody's gone out, though. So something has happened to them. Whether they've... Whether they've come into, let's have a look at their history competitions. Fourth division, no. Landmarks. Let's have a look at Russian third dot division. So they're bottom of the Russian third. Okay, okay. Um, they weren't even in the Russian third last year, were they? Have they been in the... Uh, they might have cut. They might have just be a new team because one of the teams got promoted last year. Cheetah might have got. Now they're champions this year, aren't they? So I wonder if Tom Tom Tomps went up. Yeah, they're in a second, isn't it? Okay, so that's why they've had to get so many players in because they were literally not not in the league. They're non-league, so they've had to buy a, a ton of players. 
But yeah, that brings us to today. I don't think there's anything else we need to discuss, really. Yeah, they, we've had a quick look at the schedule. It was, yeah, not even worth mentioning, really. And if we look at the squad, Gavrilov's still the best player, but we've got a couple of three and a halves. Timo Kumikov is worth having a look at because he has scored 20 goals in 20 games as an inverted winger. Which makes me think about what we're going to do today to try and break this sort of stranglehold of Leaky over over us. Because uh, Loki Doki of esteemed fame, and he is brilliant, love him to bits. He's a, a Liverpool fan as well, like me, so I'm like proper, proper happy at the moment. Um, um, this is the day before the last league games. Obviously, I'm, I'm shooting it on the day this is going out. So, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to. I don't think we're going to win the league, but. Man City want to help us out with that, that'd be lovely. I think the Champions League final is going to be brilliant. I, like a lot of people, I'd rather have played Ajax because it's another club, isn't it? But yeah, Tottenham, well deserved. That 96 minute goal from Murrow was just crazy. I didn't see it, I was listening, to, well, I think I was in the kitchen or something, I had five live on and heard Chris Sutton screaming, and that was, yeah, that was proper good. That, that whole last couple of um, Champions League semi finals was just. Yeah, crazy stuff. That's why we that's why we love football, really, isn't it? Um, but yeah, looking at I can't remember what we can really talk about now. <sighs> yeah, Kumikov, brilliant, twenty out of twenty. That's it. Loki Doki had done a um, a tactic involving inverted wingers and a couple of DMs. So what I'm gonna possibly think of doing is exactly that because we have got DMs we're not they're okay um, actually that would most probably be better we haven't really got that attacking midfielder though Palomar can play centre which I might think I might have him doing if I bring Cox in back and have him as a inverted winger on attack or support because I could yeah if I have him on attack I can have a wing backs on support and is he the best? Yes, he's the best. So there's two stars. Sotov would do it. That's interesting. And then I can have most probably these two fellas at the back here. Have Palomar chuck up. Because he can do it. Not a great fan of doing it, but he can do it. And then have we got Golubev suspended like a twat that he is? He's been getting some really weird red cards as well stuff that's definitely not red cards but he um i think that one was deserved the one that he got there to have him suspended so panchinkin and Golubev are both suspended um panamarch can play that sokolov if we've got anybody who can play second level in support who who's best for that so sokolov's a two and a half star so can take oh. Did have somebody, no, oh, yeah, Kuznetsov got injured, which was one of the reasons why we've not been as great, because he's, um, yeah, a good player. And he, what's he on now? Can't see him. Well, Pirat Madov got injured as well, didn't he? As you do. Yeah, Kuznetsov, sorry, he's 76%, so he can't play. So I think it's going to have to be Alan. Beautiful Russian name, Alan Sokolov. Um... Do I play him with that Anchorman? Because if I do... Yeah, it's such a shame because Netsov's not, but not about. Even though, I mean, Alan's brilliant with that as well, but yeah, it would have been amazing if he was about. So I could have Volkov on the bench as another DM, and I've got... Pachinkin Kai is suspended, that's a bugger. I've got one other. Safranov's unregistered, so if I... Oh no, I've got Yelisa save anyway. So that's cool. Um, if we try this as a controlled possession, bring the tempo down, don't counter the whole shape. High lines are fine. I, I like extremely urgent pressing, work the ball into the box, play for set pieces, because we've got them here, our uh, six or eight giant at the back to come up for corners and whatnot. Let's see if we can do something with this, because if we can't, that's another bloody season gone. I think I'll play until we've got to the moon, which might not be that long after this little episode bit. If we don't get to the playoffs, I'll just quickly do our 
our little where we are with respect to the journey to the moon. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, we're a long way, a long way there now. So I think this is what we're going to go with. Shulgin, who is a youngster who's not been too bad actually. He's been playing quite well. He's one and a half star, but he just plays better than Pirat, uh, Pirat Madov, who's injured and rubbish. Yeah, Palomarchuk in the middle, he's been playing nicely on the right side. Coxin's better, actually, than Palomarchuk as a winger. So he, this sort of works. Kumikov is just a bit of a legend at the moment. Zazayev and Solikov. Zazayev's not bad. I, mean, I, I can't even remember if I've discussed these guys. I'm pretty sure I have. Let's have a quick look at the transfers. Again. Yeah. 16-9, so we definitely definitely had all those guys to talk about. Oh yeah, I did talk about Marcep, so um, that's a problem when you're not doing episodes every day. Uh, yeah, Krugovic, Gavrilov, Omirov, Shugan, and Cherepanov, they're all settled. And uh, yeah, let's get to it, I think. So Nogliki kickoff, Noggers, I think I'm gonna call them actually. Play them so often that we could be quite intimate with them and call them something like Noggers, I think. Yep, yeah, Noggers it is. But yeah. I will. They've had a shot, but usually they score in the first two. Oh, get off. Sokolov. He's got a poorly foot. That's a problem when you have a five year old playing for you. Let this play through and then I'll have to take him off. Um, you have Kugovic to Palomarchuk. And Stanley, the dog, has just seen somebody and Layla's woofing as well, which is even better. And I'm home alone, so I can't even really go and tell him off. So you're going to have to pop with a cox in. 1 0, come on! Well, I weren't expecting that. That's our inverted wingers coming in because Kumikov has been scoring tons like that um, in back post. But yeah, he's just nipped in, nicked it off the defender. Thank you very much. 1 0, weren't expecting that at all. Chaps, right, I've got to take so have I got to let me play? Oh shit. <laughs> he's, mm. he's not actually showing he's injured though. I'm gonna leave it. Last game of the season, possibly. We are. Yeah, Bruce Foot, we should be able to nurse him. Zazayev, Kumyakov, come on! Yes! 2-0 and tactical mastermind that is like Doki because I can't claim this one. I would never have thought, it, have thought of playing inverted wingers like that. Even though Kumikov has been playing inverted winger all season and scored 20, um, I wouldn't have thought of actually playing two inverted wingers. I just played him as, as he was being played. That's pretty special, boys. Now, let's try and knock this up, shall we? I... I, th I think this is just a different. I mean, it, it it's a different formation than they're not used to yet. They may AI may get used to it through the game. I think I'm going to nurse Sokolov to half time and then get Volkov on because he's not a bad player at all. And I don't want Zazay getting sent off either. Um. Yeah, let's nurse this one through, shall we? Okay, so it's their highlight. Sokolov gets in there. Oh, good head at that. He's got, said, good, got good heading, hasn't he? That wasn't to anybody, was it? Kumikov nicks in. Oh, oh my God. 3 0 at the half would have been special. Gavrilov thrown to nobody, and Bondarev's got it. And he's nicked. And there's another Kumikov, which doesn't bode well. Oh, what a save. Just held that one. God, it's highlight after highlight here. Panamarchuk. Sokolov back to Umirov and belted it forward. Kumikov going to get in there? And that's to Rebachuk. And that's the ball through. Ah, come on! Another Kumikov scores. 2 1. Now, I, I, I don't want to drop defenders back because it just draws them onto you. I'd rather try and score more. Oh, it's a shame. 2-1 at half time, hopefully. Let's encourage. Never seems... To... Then why did I do it, do it, if it never seems to work? That's a bit, a bit idiotic, really. 
But that's the half, 2-1. We'll take that, definitely. Pretty level. Um, yeah, yeah, he's gonna have to come off and he's not, he's not well, 71%, he's not well. Um, yeah, Volkov is gonna have to come on. Is he the third best of the Volantes? Zaza is better at. I'm gonna play him the other way around because Volkov's played as that Anchorman quite a lot. I didn't see Sokolov getting too far up the field. I'm wondering whether he should be playing as a attack for Segunda Volante. And if that is the case, then Volkov is a little bit better. And he's got fresher legs. Yeah, who else is struggling? Shulgin and Palomarchuk at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's a shame it's not his. Have we got any, really got any playmakers? I think if I have an attacking playmaker, just wondering whether they're going to get in each other's way or not. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Right, team talk, passionately say, please have me to go. That will do for that, and let us try and hold the gun. Krugovic. Right. What's it going now? We've got Spectra getting a win. We've not had a great season, bless him, minus 32. Um, yeah, nine shots to six. It's still going okay. Coxin and Kumyakov, they're one goal away from going up because a draw is no good for us. That's why we've just got to keep going at them, really. I don't particularly want to try and close people down and pull, it, pull ourselves out of our formation either. So Gavrilov to Coxin. Amy Gavrilov to Volkov. Palomarjuk to Gavrilov. Going backwards, and that's Paul. And that is a break. Komarov. Oh. Yeah. It's an absolute killer of a game, this is. You think you got it, and then. So we've got to score. How are we going to do that? Let's have a look at the tactics. Is there anything we can do with this? Um. So I don't really remember any other strikers and Shogun's not playing well. I think I prefer to play as. Let's have him as a support, but is he what foot is he? I have him support right sided like that. Leaves Volkov to go up there. Palomarchuk is not doing it, is he? I'm just gonna get Sapeta on. And he's neither. <laughs> Doesn't really want to do it either, does he? No, not being an ongosh. Ongosh. Who else? Anybody? Krugovic 6.3. I'm going to put in the full back support, I think. Because he doesn't seem to want to be a wing back for some reason. Um, yeah, Kumikov has still got it in him to do it. Should we try anything with this? Yeah, I'm gonna focus play down the middle. Go a little bit more standard passing and a bit higher on the. We've got to go attacking, really, haven't we? Let's try that. All right, last 20. Can we nick something? We just seem to get booked all the time as well. Push forward. No, I can't say anything yet. anything yet push forward Sapeta to Gavrilov up to Shorgan and he's not going to get it is he very attacking back to Cherepanov to Shorgan back to Volkov ball over get in there oh come on just finish the Fucking ball. Oh, that was the one, I reckon. Come on, one more. Kevin off taking his time. 
Why is he taking his time? Oh. <laughs> I'm bereft. No, I think that's it, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just make. I don't know if just making a sub will try and break the. line forward lump shoot on the side as far as you can as high as you can <laughs> just try and break the computer break it basically counter extremely high get stuck in right <laughs> one minute it's not gonna do anything is it no oh corner cox in no that's crap oh not another fucking season in this Tossing league. 2-2. Two, two. <sighs> what a... Just wasting my time this is now. Absolute horseshit. We didn't lose top spot in final day. We haven't been top for a few... A few... Um, a few games. I'm just going to skip this through a little bit um, just to see if they actually go up this season or not. So yeah, the first thing first, we'll get through all the end of season shit. Um, yeah, overall best 11. So yeah, Cherepanov, Shubin, Novikov. Um, I think a lot of these were in it last year. So yeah, Kumyakov, who's a lone knee. I need to get him back, definitely. So yeah, 22 goals. <laughs> not bad, 7.3. Gavrilov and Shulgin, I need to get a forward. That, that's not Golubev or Piratnidov or Shulgin, really, because they're all shit. Uh, Kumyakov, of course he was. Amazing player, 76%. Palomarchuk, 11. And Omurov, 8. Yeah, Palomarchuk was a good signing. Um, Kumyakov, I need to get him back. We've been playing that formation most of the season as well. Um, it was the closest we got to beating Mugliki for a good while, though. What was the goal like? Don't tell me it's a penalty or something stupid. I'm like, oh, it's another free kick. They're not good. They're not good. I don't know why that is rated as the best. We scored some amazing goals. Real quick counters and cross to the back post and um, Kumikov there to score. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can agree with that. 4 0 win against Spectre was a good game and that was, yeah, horseshit against Nagaliki. Um Yeah, we got. To the second round of the cup, we were playing Velez Moscow. So we actually flew into Sheretmievo, Sheretmievo for the first time. So we've actually now done Kurashma up in um, Archangel, Skoblast, and, and Moscow. So we've done two different places opposed to what we normally do. Uh, plans for next season have got to go up. Positive to finish the top half. See, that's all they're interested in is top half and not going up that is what I'm suffering from there's a load of players that are on non-contracts and really don't care yeah 7th of June so they're actually not off for long are they they're only off for 6 weeks mm. I need to keep soccer. I need to keep players though and not have them get stolen off me that's the problem so guess what Nogliki went and did they went fucking lost, didn't they? 2-2 Two -two draw against Meta um, Metalurg Asher in the first uh, leg. So oh, they did similar to what we did, didn't they? 2-0 up and came back to 2-all. And then in the second leg, they lost 2-1. Uh, and that was all done in the first half, by the looks of it. So, I reckon we're going to have exactly the same league again. Um wonder whether that's going to skip through. So season starts on the 7th. Um, have we got competition? No, so we haven't got competitions for next next season yet. I'm just going to click through. So, yeah. Same games, exactly the same um, as last season. And the season before and the season before that. So I'm not going to bore you with um, games, basically. I uh, will come back at the end of this fourth season um, and I might come back somewhere in the middle if there's anything of interest like we're 15, 15 points ahead or something stupid like that um, it's just going to be such a struggle to actually keep players um, they're all non-contract and I've just got second division teams just sniffing around all the time so yeah tough 
So um, yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly go through our journey to the moon, see how far we've got. So as you can see on the screen, we are 39.13% on the way to the moon. So we're not quite 100,000 miles yet, 93,482. 150,000 kilometers though, so definitely getting there. And as you can see on the top right hand corner, we have now been to six different places in three seasons. How amazing is that? So yeah, Nogas, Kabarovsk, Birobijan, Vladivostok, Kodeshma, and we've been to Moscow. So yeah, let's see what comes out of the cup, because that's going to be the only other different one. Interestingly, last season we actually played Kodeshma at home um, in the first round and beat them. So we, when we played Velesh, it was in the second round. But yeah, if we get a home tie, then it's going to be the same as the first season, unless we can win that and then get an away tie somewhere. But but yeah, interesting, 40% done. Um, if we were to get promoted, then hopefully you get promoted to the second division East, which has loads of teams from Siberia as well. So there'd be yeah plenty of travel to places like Tomsk and Barnal and, 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 and I think Novokuznetsk as well in there. Yeah, I think Novokuznetsk go in there. Maybe even um, Irkutsk. So some decent travel to be done if that were the case. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've uh, liked what you've seen, please leave a thumbs up and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll have another episode out for you next weekend maybe. Though I'm not promising anything because it takes a while to get through these seasons now. Uh, yeah, that's for Daniel. <laughs>